Okay. So I had another conversation earlier today with a young lady, and we was talking about um, our prison system as it is today. Again, if, as I've stated in other videos, and I'm going to keep making these videos till I see something um, that will change across this land and country from every state, from every city, because we have to get to a point that we have to realize that this system is seriously broken. And the way things are done um, is not level across the board. There's no real transparency. There's no ownership. There's no real accountability. Families are going broke uh, trying to retain attorneys, um, trying to defend their loved ones. And I'm going to do this disclaimer one more time. We all know that there are some who lives a, live a life of crime. But even at the same time, circumstances and situations pushes individuals to a point where they have to step in survival mode. So then the question becomes, have we um, as a country push some of these individuals to a point where they have to go in survival mode? So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So if a mother is a single parent and she has five kids that she's trying to feed, she's trying to pay rent, she's trying to pay for a car note, she's trying to buy groceries, and she's trying to put her kids through school. And now we all know school fees can be ridiculous. And if they want to go on trips or anything else, and then you have to buy clothes, that can be quite expensive. We're not talking about light and gas and all that stuff. And so the child sees the mother struggling. Now the mother's working two jobs to make ends meet. But at the same time, she's not paid for what she's worth. And so this child sees this mother who's struggling to make ends meet. And they go out in the street and they try to substitute or add to the income by any means necessary. Now, did they plan to get in their life? No, they didn't. But they're not old enough to get a legitimate job. So they go out and they do what they know to do best. And then they end up in those type of environments. Or there are some of those who sit in, was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But because they couldn't catch the perpetrator, they decided depending on the person. Right? So we had, we've seen that this has been true and how it trickled down from the state's attorney to the police department, to everybody, to the judge. Everybody was involved. That came, be, that came into play from when they see us. OK, so we want to box people in and think they fit in this box and that box doesn't work anymore. And so every state's attorney, every judge, every mayor, every governor, you all need to get at the table and you need to sit and think and reevaluate some things because it's broken. And then, you know, it's broken when statistically the percentage of individuals that sits inside those prisons are those of ethnic races. And then those who are white get a slap on the wrist for their crimes. And some of their crimes are quite serious and they get to go home. So then you wonder why you end up with the friction and the anger that you have. These are the reasons that you have what you have. So now these individuals are in these facilities for five years or more. They can't come out because there's there's not enough place that places to house them so they can come out. So you keep them there because they have nowhere to go, which is wrong. And then you dump them back into the environment from which they came from. And smart people that sit at the top, you all are not really smart if you ask me. And then the organization that you depend on are not producing the results that need to be produced. But yet you continue to recycle those organizations and you give them the funding for prison reform and they haven't reformed anybody. They haven't helped anybody. 
And then there's no checks and balances to make sure that what you have given this money to them for is being used adequately in what they need to be using it as. And there is no result. We should not have the turmoil that we have right now. And something needs to be done. Something needs to be changed. And we need facilities um, to come up where those individuals that's getting out have somewhere to go. But here's where I'm going to go with this. You need to step down. And I'm not giving details of it, but that's what you need. You need to step down. So you want to know what I'm talking about a step down? So if a person has a heart attack, immediately they go into intensive care, right? So once they start to come back, this way and they get them where they're um, stable um, and they're not in the danger zone anymore, they move them to the step-down unit, right? The step-down unit is the next level down before you move to a regular room before you move them outside the door. And if you want to change the environment in which we are living in right now, you want to see better results across this land and country, this is what's going to this is what it's going to take to make a difference. We need a step down. And we have to have the step down so we can deprogram to reprogram. And that's the only way this is going to work. Because quiet is kept and you look around statistically, your data, and you don't have to look at the data. You have too many repeat offenders. Because you throw them back into the environment in, from which they came from and you have not equipped them with the proper tools to sustain in an ever-changing environment. But you all are the smart ones and then you hire these consultants, you listen to some of these pastors and preachers that, that's in your pockets or you in their pockets or however it may be, want to be, we're going to call it as it is and that's truth. And then you have these organizations that's out here because they know somebody who knows somebody else who knows somebody else. But the person in the organization who's actually doing the footwork and the work work, they can't get their foot in the door. And those are the people that you should be listening to. Very much so. So you want to know how we can fix some of my problems? I've given you how we can fix it. I've given you the problems. And I've given you the things that need to be addressed. Now it's up to you to address them. Now, if you want to know more details, then you need to contact me personally because I can give you some details of what I'm talking about because I talk to them all the time. All the time. Yeah. How about that? So, again, thank you for visiting the channel. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Share it with somebody. Leave your comments, your constructive criticism. And we're all entitled to our opinions, not knocking none of that. All right. Let me know if you like what we talk about. If you don't, that's fine, too. All right. Have a good one until we talk again.